Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune condition caused by the destruction of pancreatic beta cells. Type 1 pregnancies are high risk for both mothers and for their babies. Improvements in synthetic insulins used for the management of diabetes has seen an increase in the number of women with type 1 becoming pregnant and maintaining a pregnancy. However, the risks of preeclampsia, poor mental health, Fetal malformation and mortality rates within this population continue to remain two to five times greater than they do for a non-diabetic matched population. In 2018-2019, there were 115 pregnant women in Northern Ireland with type 1 diabetes. Out of these pregnancies, there were 78 live births. This equates to a success rate of less than 68%. The development and use of wearable technologies, particularly for glucose monitoring, has led to improved outcomes, specifically with regard to glucose control. Research completed over the past decade has shown that pregnant women having access to wearable technologies for the management of glucose has facilitated improvements in self-management specifically increasing the time spent in the glucose range of 3.5 to 7.8 millimoles per litre. This in itself has seen further improvements in enhanced outcomes. Pregnancy guidelines recommend physical activity as a lifestyle intervention to reduce the risks of high blood pressure and weight gain while promoting mental health and well-being. Physical activity itself does impact blood glucose control in non-pregnant people with type 1 diabetes. No studies to date have investigated the use of wearable technology such as fitness trackers combined with wearable glucose sensors and physical activity to improve blood pressure, maternal weight gain and mental health and well-being within this population of pregnant women. My research project is the first of its kind to consider the correlation between daily living activities and glucose variability. The design of the project is quasi-experimental, using a combination of methods, including cross-sectional observational study. Data will be collected during free living activities using wearable glucose monitors and activity tracker technologies. The data from these wearables will be collected over two weeks during each trimester and analysed using computational algorithms to identify individual patterns and trends in glucose control, both during and after physical activity, in a bid to support blood glucose management during physical activity and free living activities in pregnancy. The data sets will include glucose levels, insulin doses, heart rate and carbohydrates eaten. It's anticipated that this will increase an awareness of the correlation between the data sets to inform future decisions around glucose management for improved pregnancy outcomes in pregnant women with type 1 diabetes. As more women with type 1 experience pregnancy, wearable technologies have the potential to facilitate improved outcomes while promoting normality. A greater awareness of correlations and the development of e-systems could further enhance pregnancy outcomes for this vulnerable population.